Good morning guys. So I came to Safeway. It's about 7.15. Safeway opened at 7. So I'm trying to get a lot of groceries so we don't have to go to the grocery store as often because I just want to limit our exposure to coronavirus and like just limit the amount of times we go out if we don't have to. So trying to get a ton of groceries right now. It is Friday so I'm trying to do this before work. Um, but yeah, I do have like an 8.30 meeting I need to call into but I'm just going to try to get as much done as I can but yeah it is early so it is pretty packed already like the parking lot is has a good amount of cars here so yeah we'll see how stocked up this Safeway is and then I'm trying to hit Trader Joe's after because they're close to each other. I also brought like a ton of bags with me and I also brought a um, disinfecting wipe to wipe down the cart because last time they didn't have any wipes and I just want to be careful so yeah. Okay, so, so it is nine already and I just got out of Safeway. It basically took me like an hour to find everything that I was looking for. And then it took like 40 minutes to check out. Like the lines were super long and like it was going slowly because everyone's carts were so full. And so yeah, um, now I'll check out TJ's. I think Trader Joe's just opened, so I'm hoping that I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it is. Okay, so this is the line to get to Trader Joe's. It's like past Trader Joe's, past an Applebee's, and past a Kohl's, so <laughs> we'll see if this is worth it. Okay, so that line, line was just ridiculously long. I mean, I walked a good amount, but it was still probably going to take me I don't know, maybe like another hour to get inside and like I have perishable things in the trunk and so I think Kurt and I will just come like early before it opens to stand in line like over the weekend or something because this is ridiculous and I need to start working. So yeah, that is my grocery trip for today. Okay, so it is Saturday. What is it? Sorry, the 29th and we have to go grocery shopping and I'm so pissed at myself because we we're I was so set on ordering grocery delivery or pickup on Instacart and um, because I saw like on one of the weekdays this week that like pickup or delivery was like you know within five hours or whatever like same day and I was like okay it should be fine and then I realized that we needed to get groceries like today because we're running out of stuff and of course it's Sunday so everyone's ordering groceries today and it's super packed up so we got lucky we were like saw sprouts and they were available for like pick up today and then while we were getting an order together because the site was so slow it changed to like Wednesday and we're like oh forget it so now we are going in person which I was really trying to avoid and like it gives me so much anxiety but at least Kurt's with me this time so we're gonna go we have our bags we have I brought hand sanitizer we have a wipe so we're gonna get a wipe get it ready to wipe down our cart and just won't touch our face and wash our hands frequently so here we go we actually finished our whole shopping trip in an hour which is impressive and we were also shopping for Kurt's parents, so pretty proud of us. But yeah, we just got home and we are now trying to disinfect all the groceries. I just like finished dishes so that we can get like the counter all cleared up. But yeah, Kurt is working on disinfecting. So he already disinfected this stuff so far. So now I'm gonna also help so we can disinfect it because we have still tons of groceries left to go. And we also just watched that grocery video on like how to disinfect so it basically just means like to wipe down everything with disinfectant wipes um, and like washing all the produce and stuff. I'm gonna put Harm and Your Mother on to make this a little bit more fun. Now you know like how much cereal is actually in here. It's like half full. Okay, 
So it took over two hours to unload the car, sanitize everything, and rinse all the produce. Uh, I don't I honestly don't know if I did it right I basically just like soaked it in water and kind of like tried to rub it down as much as possible kind of I don't know it's hard to do like beans there's just so many of them and Brussels sprouts and stuff but I tried to just you know let them soak in stuff now I'm letting them dry because I didn't really want to put things in the fridge like kind of wet I like dried them off with a paper towel like lightly but there's still so much moisture I have Brussels sprouts here, green beans and cabbage. It's starting to dry up, so that's kind of good. Also, I sanitized the grocery bags that we used. Um, but yeah, it's just so tiring. It's like already three now, and so that just was like a lot of time. It is Monday, and it is snack break time. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon, and so ready to eat a snack, and I know what I want to eat. Kurt's brother got us one of these boba bar things and then these are like the hype right now but um, I think one time we tried to get it and it was like $10 for like a box and I was like forget it it's not worth it but he gave us two to try so um, we haven't tried it yet so I think it's time to try it out we're just gonna share one it's the brown sugar boba ice cream bar so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna cut off a part The boba isn't like frozen, I'm surprised it's like very soft and chewy. I don't know how they did that. It's not bad. It does taste, it, yeah, it does taste like a boba. Mm -hmm. Popsicle ice cream bar thing. But would I buy this myself? Good to try. We had to move out the fridge because we spilled rice vinegar right underneath and it smells really strong but at least the fridge came out easily we're just cleaning the floor because like this is brand pretty much brand new tile and so we just wanted to try to clean it as best we can it's our first time eating out and we got in and out <laughs> so we haven't eaten out in weeks so we just decided that we would eat in and out today um, we got it obviously to go um, but yeah we just parked um, along the coastline so we're gonna I think watch the sunset from here but yeah gonna eat and then maybe walk outside to get some fresh air and we have Kona in the back first meal out in a really long time 